Hey guys and welcome back. Um, so today, as you can tell, I don't really have um, a hoodie on when I usually do. The reason for that is because I am going to give you an update of my tattoo. Make that a little bit closer. So this is what my tattoo looks like. This is, I don't even know, um, day 10? No, day 12. Um, because I got it done on the 4th. So, basically what I've been doing is taking some, um, what is it? I didn't come prepared for this video, sorry guys. Uh, so basically I've just been using the lotion. I believe it is the, um, Aveeno lotion. Um, and I've just been rubbing it in just about daily. Uh, my tattoo is taking pretty well. Of course it doesn't hurt. Didn't even really hurt when I first got it. Um... Yeah, so I've been taking care of it with lotion daily, uh, trying to use as little hot water as possible. Of course, when I shower, even before I had this hairstyle, um, as you guys know, I don't like to wash my hair in hot water unless I'm getting rid of, say, bleach or um, color. So, as little hot water as possible among this, upon this, whatever you want to call it. Um, you know, just use regular body wash, um, or actually use, um, hydrating body wash because that'll help with the tattoo healing process. It'll, um, keep the tattoo in longer as well as, um, essentially get rid of any of the dead skin that might be surfacing. Um, so that's that. Also, I wanted to talk to you guys in this video about a career change. Um, so... I'm thinking about going to school for nursing next year, possibly in April, um, March or April. Um, I love the idea of going to school for nursing, um, <clears throat> just because, as you guys probably know, I am an EMT right now, I'm certified, and I do work for, um, the next township over, um, from where I actually live, so... It's actually pretty cool um, to be a volunteer EMT, but at the same time, I do want a paid job. Um, so, I'm just gonna grab this real quick. So, my goal in the end is to have a paid job in the medical field. I'm not sure that I want to be a doctor, but I love the idea of being a nurse because I'm basically doing the same job as an EMT, except a little bit more, and I would be in a hospital setting instead of. Uh, patient's house. So I'll be treating them in a bed in an area where I'm gonna get comfortable instead of, you know. Um, so I I really want to pursue that, that career. Um, I keep having financial um, aid and assistance uh, companies calling me. They really want me to go to school and as a Christian, as you guys know, um, or if you're new, welcome. Um, I am a Christian, so as a Christian, I kind of feel like it's God's calling a little bit, um, that he wants me to get into nursing because I was going to take a direct, almost different path and go ahead and be a cop, and now all of a sudden I want to pursue the medical, uh, profession. So that's definitely a changer, um, <clears throat> a life changer, because it's a little bit of a different environment. Um... So yeah, hope you guys wish me luck. Um, I'll start to get more into um, explaining my plans for my education. I'm thinking about going back to Camden County College, which is where I was actually uh, certified as an EMT through the Camden County Fire Academy, which is part of the college. Um, so that's that. And I'm hoping to possibly become a nurse in couple years, um, <clears throat> just worked hard building upon that because I know nurses make a lot of money. It's part of the reason why I'm going on. The other part is because as you guys know, I want to help to make a difference in people's lives. And if I can do that through sales, which I'm doing right now at CarMax, I'd love to do that. But if I can do even more by being a nurse, I'd love to do that too. But what are your guys' opinions on this? Leave comments down below to guide me through any assistance, any tips, anything like that, um, 
just express your feelings down below so that I can get a general idea of what I'm getting myself into, especially if you guys have experience in that field too. Like, subscribe, and comment, please, and keep on rocking with whatever hair style or mood that you guys have, because my hair is taking a completely different turn. As you guys know, it was all messy and didn't want to work with me yesterday, and now today it wants to go wherever I put it. So it's unique. Um, then again, this is like four or five day old hair, so... Alright, I'll see you guys soon, and I love you guys very much. Yeah, leave comments down below about my tattoo, any tips for that, and tips for nursing school and the nursing field, the emergency field, since I am still pretty new to it too. Um, and any tips for currently being an EMT, because I am still an EMT, and I'm going to be an EMT the rest of my life no matter what anybody says. Already went through the school, already went through their training, so I'm certified. That's that. Any tips for that too, please leave down below. Any tips for hair as well in any one of my videos. Um, and yes, thank you for reminding me, Hannah. Um, I've reached 30 subscribers, so I will be giving out prizes soon. As soon as I get my next paycheck, I'm going to look for some prizes. Um, because the other ones unfortunately got lost during... I do have a couple though. I think I still have a couple necklaces. Um, but the other ones got lost during my move transition. Don't want to say anything, but you know. <sighs> anyway, so, see you guys soon. Leave down below what types of prizes you guys are interested in. And the more you comment the more likely chance you will have of getting a prize. So comment down below. If I only get a couple comments from one person, um, that person might get two or three prizes. Um, so make sure you comment. That way I can look at you guys and say, hey, now I know how many prizes to get. See you guys soon. Last time I will say it. Like, subscribe, and comment. Comment, comment, comment. Keep on rocking with the hair. Bye, guys.